Pi. Today, I'm going to show you how to get Spotlight Search on Raspberry Pi. There is no way to install Spotlight Search on Raspberry Pi, but there is an app called Ulauncher which is very similar to Spotlight Search. To install Ulauncher, we are going to use Pi Apps, which is an app store for the Raspberry Pi. Go to the Pi Apps GitHub page. You will find the link in the description for this. Scroll down here. Copy the installation command and paste it in a terminal and click enter. Once the installation is over, close all the windows, double click on a desktop shortcut and click on execute. This will open the PyApps window. Click on iCandy and click on new launcher and then you click on the plus button which will install the app. It is better to install a compositor too so that you don't get a black border around the windows and also some themes which have transparency won't work. So let's install Compton. Open a terminal and type sudo app install comp Then we need to add to auto start, so we will install LX session default apps which we can use to add Compton to auto start. So type sudo app install LX session default apps and click enter. Once the installation is over, type LX session default apps to open the app. Then click on auto start. And in the small box, type add Compton and click on add. After doing this, close all the windows and reboot so that Compton will start on boot. You can launch U Launcher from under the accessory section from under the applications menu. Once you launch it from the applications menu, you can use the default keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus space to launch your launcher. Now you can search for apps by typing the name. For example, if I want the terminal app, I can type terminal and click enter. And you can see the terminal app launches. We can even search for Google, Stack Overflow, and Wikipedia right from your launcher. For example, if I want to search Google, I can type G followed by the search term. So if I want to search for RPI coder, I can type RPI coder and click enter. And you can see a Chrome window pops up with the search results for RPI coder. We can open the preferences menu by launching your launcher and click on the small gear icon on the right. This will open the preferences window. First, we can change the keyboard shortcut to launch you launcher. The default one is Ctrl plus space. To change it, click on it and click the desired keyboard shortcut. For example, if I want Ctrl Alt U, you can click on Ctrl Alt U. You can see the keyboard shortcut appears and then you can click enter. So now if I click Ctrl Alt U, you launcher launches. Next, we can change the theme for your launcher. We have a few themes by default, but we can install more themes from the official website. To do that, open a browser and go to the official website, which is ulauncher.io. Here, click on color themes. This will open a GitHub GIS page. Here, you can browse to the list of themes. As you can see, there are many themes for you launcher. For example, if I want this transparent blood theme, I can click on it. After clicking on it, copy the GitHub link. 
then open the file manager and go to dot config slash new launcher here create a new folder the name user themes and click enter now go inside this folder and open a terminal inside this folder by clicking on f4 and then type git clone followed by the github link which i just copied so i can paste it here and then click enter Once it has finished cloning, you can close the terminal and file manager window and open the ulauncher preferences window. The theme won't appear, you have to close and open the preferences window. Sorry. And now if I again click on the themes, you can see the new theme which we just Download it appears and click on it. And now, if I launch you launcher, you can see that we get the transparent theme now. Then we can configure the launch at login, which I usually prefer to enable. Also, I like to disable the indicator icon, which is the icon in the panel here. So, if I disable this, you can see the icon disappears. And we can choose if you have to clear input or hide which model it should appear and we have some other options then we have shortcuts which we can use to execute a command or open a url or anything for example if i want a shortcut to run sudo apt update i create a new shortcut by clicking on add shortcut and i can name it updater i can keep the keyword as up and then the command should open a terminal and run the command sudo apt update. So the command will be lx terminal e sudo apt update. And also I don't need to run this with any arguments. So I can enable run those arguments. And then I can click save. So now if I open new launcher and type up and click enter, you can see a terminal opens running the command sudo apt update. Once the command finishes running, the terminal will close. Then we have extensions, which is a really useful feature. We can download new extensions from the website too. We can click on the discover extensions button to open the website. Then we can browse to the different extensions here. As you can see, there are many extensions. You can sort them to newest first and github stars for example if i want this process murder extension i can click on it i can copy the github link open the ulauncher window and then have to click on add extension and paste the link here and then click on add so here we can change the keyword for the extension i'm going to keep it the same so once we have downloaded the extension we can open view launcher and if i type the keyword you can see it's showing me a bunch of processes which i can uh, kill so example if i want to kill the panel i can type kill followed by lx panel and hit enter and you can see the panel disappears and then we have the help and about menus. The help you can get the API docs that you need help for troubleshooting. And then you have the version, the about and all that. And that about sums it up. If you like this video, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to be notified for my future videos. Also, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. Consider joining my Discord server, RPI Coders, where you can get help with my tutorials. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos.